Hello, 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 everybody. How are you today? This is Ken Oliver here, and I'm sorry I might be a minute late. No one has ever had technical difficulties before, have they? I never have. What happened, I uh, was logging on to do my live video, and my phone went dead. Right, I don't know what happened. Like I hit a button or something, and my phone went completely dead. So um, I had to restart, and I apologize about that, but sometimes those things happen. So I hope that you're having a wonderful day, and I'm trying to get my lights set up now because everything's shut down, but I think we're good now. Today is um, studio day and demo day, and I'm excited because... We're going to be using some color sparks to do some demos. And I can't wait because it's fun, fun, fun. I mean, pure and total fun. So while folks are joining in, and I'm glad because it's a class a long day, I think. So we've got 45 minutes. So that's excellent. Turn my camera up a little bit. And, um, I'm excited. While folks are joining in, I'm just going to say hi here. Anybody? Hello, hello. Sorry about that. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I want to say, like, uh, last night for the first time I had a live um, class for the first time since uh, 2020. And it was a watercolor class, and we painted that. And it was total fun. So, um, isn't that pretty? And I'm going to demo this. This is all color sparks. I'm going to demo this at the end of my demo time so you can kind of get an idea of what this is because it's really neat. And um, also, if you um, like that, leave me a comment below because I can set that up as an online class that we do. And I think I'd like to do that because I've had lots and lots of uh, people asking from all over the place. So I think it would be a good um, class to do online. So let me see. I'm checking in to... Okay, now I can see that I'm live on the um, on the page. I'm going to turn my camera down and get started because I discovered some new techniques that I think you're really going to love. So much fun. Uh, the kit for this time was a Color Sparks fun kit. Now this is, oh my gosh, I'm going to have technical difficulties today. And I've been so good lately, I haven't had any. It's just my time, I think. Okay, it says we're still live. So it looks to me like I'm still live. Hopefully we're still live. Okay. Man, sorry about that. Uh, this was the kit. It was a um, pack of watercolor paper, a pack of color sparks, and then a um, spritz bottle. And also... Uh, I said get some stencils because we're going to use stencils too. I want to turn my camera down and get started because fun is about to happen. Okay, now I'm going to turn my camera down and hopefully everything will be okay. There we go. So the first thing we're going to do is use color sparks and a stencil to make a beautiful background. And easy to do, easy, easy to do. We're going to just spritz and sprinkle a little bit. I took my uh, for my uh, watercolor paper and I went ahead and cut it into A2 size. That's just you cut it in half um, long ways and short ways and that makes it A2 size. That's four and a quarter by five and a half. And because uh, I thought it would be easy to kind of get that shape, that little cutting bit out of the way. So if you have your paper and you can just work on it full, full size too. I'm going to grab a stencil. This is Elegant Swirls from the Crafter's Workshop. And we're going to spritz and sprinkle a background. And if you haven't used Color Sparks before, it's amazing. It is watercolor powder, but it's in a pigment form or like in a powder form. And it comes in a little nifty bottle like this that's airtight. So the pow and it's powder. So it's uh, really super, super intense. There are 18 colors. Uh, they're in three packs. 
They're in packs of three of colors that are, always go well together. And, uh, oh my gosh, that's just so much fun to use because it's like super explosive. And I don't know, you may have seen me use it before. You may not have you seen me use it before, but it is, um, fun with a capital F. And I'm going to just take the lid off of this and lightly sprinkle a little bit around over the stencil. And it doesn't take very much at all. And from where you're sitting, you're probably like, there's not even anything there. I'm going to get my camera a little turned up a little bit so you can see better. And that's not the way. That's the way. <laughs> Sorry. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've used Color Sparks before or if you'd like to try it. Uh, because I, you know, I, I've shown it a lot and I don't really know if lots of people have seen it or it's just, you know, I don't, you know, like who's used it. Let me know if you've heard of it or if you've used it before. So I laid down a little bit of orange and I want to put a tiny bit of fuchsia. That will be pretty together, kind of orange and pink. And you might look at this and say like, oh my gosh, there's nothing there. Oh my gosh, you just wait because it's going to be fantastic. And I've just got two colors there. I'm going to give this a spritz of water and watch what happens. That color just sparks into life. And when I lift up, we've got a beautiful watercolor background. Isn't that gorgeous? Let's look at that. So you get all the detail of the stencil, but it looks like you watercolored it. Now, the other really fun thing to do is we've got all of this color sparks on this on the back side of that stencil. Watch this. I'm going to grab a piece of that watercolor paper and lay this down. Ta-da! Gently. And I'm going to just brayer that ever so slightly with a roll of paper towels. Why? That just helps me get really good contact between the stencil and the paper. And look what happened. Now we have two backgrounds to make into cards. Oh, I love it. And if you can't see that, I'll hold it up a little bit. It's a little bit spotty, but it looks like a beautiful watercolor background. Easy peasy have all of these available on KenOliverCrafts.com. Um, the three packs are around t th around 20 bucks for a three pack. I'm gonna hit these really quickly with the with a heat tool just to get them dry. I, it looks like my hands are moving super fast. I'll slow it down. I do like to keep my heat tool moving because um, this gets really hot and trust me, paper can catch on fire and I don't want to have a, an episode of one of a kind go down in flames. <laughs> so look how beautiful those are. Those perfect card bases ready to go. Aren't those nice? So I'm going to lay those to the side. And we're just going to keep playing because that's when you have the most fun creating art. It's when you're playing, when you're completely just playing. Now, I'm going to lay down a stencil on top of this piece of watercolor paper. And this is something you may not have ever seen me do before because I haven't done it before. It's kind of a, a new thing for me, too. We're going to lay this down on the paper and I'm going to get a cosmetic brush. You know, like this kind of cosmetic brush that everybody uses for their um, blending. And we're going to stencil with it. And I'm going to put a little bit of Color Sparks powder into a little paint palette. I need to move over a little bit.
we're going to put some color sparks in a paint palette and I'm using wisteria. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous purple color. And you know that wisterias are blooming this time of year. And if you've seen them, they are lovely. And um, I just washed my brush so it's got a little bit of water on it. But I'm going to put a, another little drop or two of water on it. And then I'm going to pick up this powder with my brush. And this is not like drippy wet at all. It is just a little wet. And then I'm going to take this and just go over that stencil with this beautiful wisteria color. And I'm making a background, so I'm not even going to like worry about doing the whole, the whole thing. We're just going to kind of have a, just the flowers covered in with the wisteria. And you know what I could also do? I could also take a little bit of lime green and color the leaves. And again, if you've never used Color Sparks before, it is literally like one of the funnest mediums I've ever worked with. And then look at that color. It's so intense. So have you ever seen Color Sparks used this way before? I don't think you have. Look at that. We made a beautiful watercolor background. Oh, it is just gorgeous. And I think we can take the reverse side of this where we have just a little bit of color sparks on there. I'm going to give it a light spritz of water and then we'll print it again. We'll print it so we get that reverse negative image. You know what? That didn't really take a lot, but it's okay because I can turn this into something. I can turn it into a beautiful watercolor background just by adding a little more water. And it's still going to give us the idea that we have a flower there, but not totally. It looks like a really cool, like kind of abstract design. And we'll dry those with the heat tool. Uh, you know, you might have noticed this, that a lot of times when you're using watercolor paper, it does kind of curl up. Not a big deal. Whenever it dries with the tool, it will straighten back out. pretty that is. This was um, Flower Cluster, a 6x6 six six, uh, stencil from the Crafters Workshop. I love how that looks. Uh, that's as pretty as a clematis, I think. Mm, that's nice. So I really want to try that technique again because I love applying um, the color sparks with uh, these with a cosmetic brush. Like It's just the coolest kind of like app application and I just wash my brushes out so it'll be nice and clean and you know I hope you'll enjoy uh, this demo today um, and crafting along with me or like making a mess along with me um, it's always so much fun to demo and I hope you enjoy that and I hope you get inspired by it because uh, oftentimes I'm a little bit off from what everybody else is doing because I'm always a little bit off. And we're going to do some banana leaves. This is called, this stencil is called banana leaves. It's a six by six stencil. And 
I put some chartreuse in my palette. I'm adding some lime green. And I want a little bit of terra verde also, because it's a little bit of a deeper green. And then with a wet brush, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that powder and stencil in a few areas. And if you've seen me use Color Sparks before, and you've been a little bit hesitant because you might think it's messy. This way using your brushes is the easiest way to um, apply color sparks. And um, I'm so happy I just kind of figured this out. I grabbed, just grabbed a little bit of Terra Verde. And the way I'm putting this on the leaves, I hope it'll make it look like it's kind of, like we have some shadowing or some shading going on. Okay, who's ready for this? I am. Oh, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? You'd have to see this in person to get the full, full on effect. But because we blended a little bit with that chartreuse and the terra verde and the lime green, we have a vi I love this, but I'm a plant person. So like, I have to love that. Oh, that is so nice. I love it. And I, you know what? Like, I'm just kind of hooked on this now on uh, applying uh, color sparks in this way. I want to try another another stencil because this is too much fun. You've seen me working with uh, this stencil. It's called Distressed. I'm sorry. Yeah, Distressed Glass and um, wonderful stencil. I think we can, cause, and I've used it with the foil application on a lot of demos recently. So I'm going to take my brushes again, and this time I want to use some really brilliant color. Like, I think we need a fuchsia. And we need an orange. This is marigold. And I'm going to take my cosmetic brush and just grab a little bit of that marigold and just kind of pounce it on there and then apply it. And just by putting circular, circular uh, motion. This is um, fun. It feels different than using ink than, you know, like ink blending, because it's a little moister. I picked up some of that fuchsia. We're going to roll that fuchsia in there. Just go straight across into here. Look at that. Is that a beaut? So these are one, these backgrounds are wonderful for uh, card making. And they're just, they're so easy to do. And who'd have thought that you could use your ink blending brushes to apply color sparks in this way? 
So um, the really fun thing that I discovered is, is like you can watch these time and time again, and it's okay to use them with color sparks while they're wet. Um, sorry, mind blown. <laughs> I've just never done that before, and I am L-O-V-E loving it. So um, another way to make a beautiful background is... Oh my goodness. Well, you know, here's the other thing. I like this because I, I just found this wave stencil and, um, this has color sparks written all over it. Um, I'm going to take this wave. I have to do this. And we're going to do the same thing with the brushes. Again, we're going to apply some blue, cerulean blue, and a little bit of chartreuse. Got, I actually just rinsed this out because we just used it with a different color and it's completely clean. The color sparks rinses out really, really easy. So I'm going to grab a little bit of that cerulean blue and just blend that in. And then to give it kind of the realistic effect, I'm going to grab a little bit of chartreuse. I'll just grab all of my greens. Man, this is an awesome way to paint with color sparks. And I can't believe that I just now have done this. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. That is just something else. Now for a minute, I'm going to clean up here and cleaning up with color sparks is super, super easy. I've got all this um, in my paint well, and I'm just going to spritz a little bit of water on my paint well. And you know what? Even this little piece here that is the cleanup stuff, I can use that to make a background. I'm going to make a watercolor wash and I have a watercolor brush handy here. And I'm just going to pick up some of that cerulean blue and just start painting that cerulean blue across my paper. And we're going to let that blend into the next color just easily and calmly we're just making a gorgeous watercolor wash and I want my water and my color sparks to do all of the work add some more green so we get that really luscious blend of blue and green together because it is kind of getting to be beach season. And this will be a great background to apply um, stamped images or die cuts on. But the other thing that I'm seeing, and this is just, this is the artist in me, is that we just painted the start of a beautiful landscape. Can you see that? 
I'm going to hit this with the heat tool real quick. Now we've got this pretty dry. So you see like that's the beginning of my landscape. So I'm gonna turn this around so I can uh, paint this way. But what you can see here is like, look at these gorgeous clouds in the sky and I didn't even paint them. You see that? I just, they just happened because of the way that the water and the color sparks work together. Isn't that amazing? So we're gonna paint real quick in here just the idea of da, 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 like the um, the meadow here. I think this is a meadow and I'm going to blend that out to just be because I just want to have like the idea of a meadow. Dry, 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 dry. <laughs> I want to paint the idea of some leafy, pretty trees back here. And that's going to be easy to do just by painting some, you know, it doesn't even really have to be, um, it doesn't have to look like a tree. Basically we can make some pine trees if we want to. I'm going to hit that with the heat tool. Okay, you're gonna love this. If you if you uh, do not paint, haven't ever painted, this is how to paint a landscape in five minutes, literally. So I'm letting that get really nice and, I wanna get it nice and dry right here because we're gonna do one more little technique here. I'm gonna grab some, um, sepia a little bit of sepia color sparks it's a pretty pretty brown and then with my let's just turn that around so you can kind of see i just put a little bit of powder i just picked up a little bit of that sepia with a wet brush and i'm going to make some just insinuate some trees back in here and it doesn't even have to be a lot just really like a tiny little bit to say like oh there are trees back here And I rinsed out my brush because I had a lot of like kind of heavy paint on there. So now with just a clean brush, I'm going to go back and pull out really fine limbs from the strokes that we've already made. Very easy to do. And I could put her around with that for another few minutes. I make just a beautiful landscape. I have to come back to it because um, I have more projects pl planned. I always over plan it because I like to really show a lot when I do demo days. You know, um, I have here already created some backgrounds using these techniques. And I'm going to put them all together because I like cut out the stuff to make cards. So like all of the backgrounds that we've just made, like this and this and this, I'm gonna be able to turn those into cards and I'll show you how easy it is to do. So 
So here's a nice piece of background that we made using a 12 by 12 stencil. Isn't that beautiful? And, you know, this is just to um, give you some ideas of ways that you can use color sparks because the um, possibilities really are, ooh, are unlimited, really, when you think about it. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous card. And you could put any kind of sentiment on this you want if you wanted to say, Hello, friend. Um, any way that you wanted to slice that up, that would be a gorgeous card. And now that I'm finally trying to figure out where my my field of vision is, you can see how pretty that is. And it's kind of watercolory and abstract. Here's another idea with the little piece that I made using that swirl. We're going to make a bookmark. And I did that on a piece of scrap watercolor paper with one color. And look how beautiful that is. Elegant. Um, just put a ribbon on top of that. We've got a gorgeous bookmark. So here's kind of a sneaky one I did with a stencil. It's called Distressed Knit. And just by using those... Um, cosmetic brushes like this, I was able to create this beautiful design. Pretty that is. And I pre-stamped a sentiment that says, sending love. Cute as a button. And, you know, it's abstract. It's watercolory. It's very arty. It's an art, art kind of card. I love that. Okay, one more I've got. Here's um, a used uh, flower cluster and fuchsia color sparks and the cosmetic brushes and you'll see like I didn't even finish the stencil I just kind of made it like a swatch across there just um I thought it looked cool like on its own I'm really excited about using these brushes on paper with color sparks it's exciting so do me a favor when you can, hop over to calivercrafts.com and check out all of the stencils and, and the beautiful color sparks. 
um, it's an amazing way to um, keep your crafty mojo going. It is just fun. So much fun. Isn't that nice? Oh my goodness. You know, like I'm having like a little bit of a dilemma because I'm looking at this and it is absolutely gorgeous and it wants to be a card so bad. So I'm looking to see here if I have a little bit of paper that we could make that happen. So I'm gonna put this, ooh, on a deep blue mat. Look how pretty that is. Oh, this is going to be a stunner, I can tell. I hope that you're feeling charged up and creative from watching my demos today because creativity is one of those things that is like, it's good for your soul. It makes you feel better. It's good for your heart. It's good for your brain and it makes you a happier person. And just look at that. That is really, really nice. And I'm trying to think, do I have time for one more? I do have a couple of minutes left. And I have this beautiful banana leaves that wants to be something. I can't see green paper right now, so I'm going to call it a day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for letting me be one of the part of one of the kind um, group. I love it. It's my favorite thing of the month. And I hope you've been inspired today to um, push your boundaries on your creative limits and see what you can do and try new things. I really, really hope that uh, you've enjoyed my videos. And so till next time, keep it crafty. You can find me on Facebook at Ken Oliver Crafts and everything I've used today, you can get at KenOliverCrafts.com. All right. Thanks so much. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.